Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things you want to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground and the suspension's hanging. After that, continue on by removing all four of your 19 millimeter lug nut covers, then all of your lug nuts. Let's remove the wheel. Now we can move along to removing our upper sway bar link nut. To remove this, we're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket. But when you gotta turn this counterclockwise, you're gonna notice that the entire stud wants to spin. To prevent that, I'll just use some locking pliers right behind the strut on the shaft itself. All right, so now that we have the upper sway bar link nut off of this, we're gonna continue on to doing the exact same thing on the other side of the car. That way there we can lift up on this and we can gain access to our lower nut. Now once you have the other side off, let's go ahead and start removing the lower nut that holds the sway bar link to the sway bar. Once again, I'm gonna hold the shaft with some locking pliers. I'll use my 18 millimeter socket with an extension and remove this nut. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's time to install our brand new sway bar link. To do this, I'm gonna come right over to the sway bar and I'll put it right on through. The next thing we'll do is put on our 18 millimeter headed nut. Now, once you have the nut started on there, we're gonna continue on to tightening this up. If you were to look at the shaft of the sway bar link, you're gonna find that you have an area that you can hold on to with a 17 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and hold that with your 17 millimeter wrench and then tighten the 18 millimeter nut. Now, once you have that bottomed out, continue on by torquing that 18 millimeter nut to 59 foot pounds. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing on the other side. Whenever you replace a sway bar link, it only makes sense to replace them as a pair. Let's get our sway bar link into the strut. Now we can start on our mounting nut. At this point, we'll go ahead and bottom this out and then we're gonna to torque this to 59 foot pounds. And now you wanna go ahead and make sure you do the exact same thing to the other side of the vehicle. With the wheel safely on the ground, let's go ahead and torque this to 100 foot pounds. Torqued. If you have a hubcap, go ahead and put that on now. You're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the valve stem hole. That's the cutout right along here. Line it up with the valve stem. Everything else should line up perfectly along the way. After that, go ahead and take your 19 millimeter socket and we'll just go ahead and bottom these out. You don't need to use an air gun for this. 